Ooh, ask if they have a good prospect available. Ah. Uh, the host of Magdalene's needs an urgent supply of delivery of seeds, paying a pretty penny too. Seeds. I get to the bazaar straight away, put my mark against it. Broker in Port Avon is selling cheap seeds. Chirpy chap, God knows why. His face looks like it's been pushed through a mangle. Port Avon lies <laughs> south southeast of New Winchester, and Magdalene's lies south southwest of New Winchester. What was our other thing? Was our other thing also south southeast? I think it's west southwest. Oh. So if it's <laughs> south southeast and south southwest, if we go straight south, we'll run into one of them at some point. Yeah. Cool. Accept this prospect from the bazaar if you haven't already. From Buy the seeds from the bazaar in Port Avon and sell them at Magdalene's. Yeah. Okay. That's easy. Nice. Welcome back to Character Select, by the way. Welcome. Uh, Fire after the staunch sergeant. You know she's one of their coterie, but yes. where is she? Ah, she speaks of you often, the plucky baroness says. I'm afraid you've missed her. We've all been missing her recently. Busy girl, but she's doing important work in London. The bedeviled didact frowns uh -huh. darkly and fingers one of his am amulets. We've been assisting in our own small ways, but, well, she'll want to explain herself. She left a letter for you. Meg pulls a crumpled envelope uh -huh. from the pocket of her patched coat. I'd open it somewhere private, or someone, she glares at the masked citizen, will try to read over your shoulder. The masked citizen nods unapologetically. It's true, I'm a disgrace. <laughs> read the letter. Interesting. Elsewhere. Okay. Oh, speak of the devil, elsewhere. Onwards, at the bottom. Okay, we still have to friggin' find what to do. Uh, well, privately examine the letter, I guess. Hang on, some crew first. Uh, a famous tackety captain has turned tail and fled back to London, promised a generous pension and a full pardon in exchange for selling secrets. His crew had a loose end under a cloud of suspicion. Will they ever find work again? Of course they will. An occurrence. Your crew quality is now ten. Woo! They come with headaches and nausea, nausea and the I last of their that. things. They go to their berths, ready to make for their stars again. Yay. Cool. Now we read the letter. Privately, you examine the letter. The staunch servant's handwriting, never neat, is clearly hurried. There are several unfinished trains of thought angrily struck through. She writes coyly of having embarked on the journey of the most fundamental discovery and of having uncovered celestial secrets. She says she wants to discuss her progress with you, but does not say where or when. The envelope also contains a collection of unfinished crosswords cut from the newspapers. She always hated crosswords, and the phrasing of the letter is stifled. Uh, stilted, as if she had to use certain words in certain places. There is a concealed message here, you are certain, and the crosswords are key to it. We need two savage <laughs> secrets to, to decode it, so we can't do it yet. Yes. Interesting. Not yet. Uh, we, we still have to do something with the like secrets for the box. Well, we need to. Are we just going to deliver the box, or what are we going to do? We can't deliver the box. It, it goes to somebody. Oh, it goes to somebody. We are not in London. Yes, I don't know why we I thought we Winchester. were in London. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Because London is where you start in. In sunless seas. Yes. Oh, we need supplies. Another new Winchester. We need supplies. We've got four supplies. We need fuel then. Shops. Oh yeah, oh, and yeah. we also need uh, seeds for Magdalens. Yes, claimed it. Cool. The uh, Winchester They want windows. up to five panes of stained glass. Uh, probably won't. Okay, so they want three sacks of verdant seeds, and we'll pay 80 sovereigns for each. So each? it's south-southwest of New Winchester. We need to go south-southeast of New Winchester, because that's where Port Avon is. Yeah. Okay. The mob. So completing this prospect will aid the Tackety war effort. I don't know what the fuck Tackety is. Me neither. So let's not do that yet. Pay for up to five. We don't know where Titania Titania is either. Uh, Titania lies north-northeast. 
See? Titania lies to the north northeast of New Winchester. That's where we have to deliver it, though. They ah. want us to get them. Yeah, we don't have stained glass. Or do we? Uh, oh, this no. place sells... This is where we get our guns. Guns? This place sells goodies. Additional crew quarters squeezed in wherever you can find the space. Best recruit only the most flexible or the least... Un or at least uncomplaining crew members <laughs> for a while. <laughs> okay. We don't. We definitely don't have enough money for any of this, but it's not bad to see it. Stain away this canning this station? What the fuck? Plus one mining. Mining. All right. Mm, I wonder. What's a canning station do? Plus one butchery. Plus one butchery. <laughs> Interesting. Additional car, the shivering jemmy. A wheezing, sputtering, ramshackle engine dating from the first days of London settlement. It gobbles fuel like a starved wolf and sulks worse than a cap kept in from the rain. It will, at best, suffice. So, 100%, 100%. Double movement speed, though. Cozy cabins. Hey, Caminus Yards. Remember those. Sensible plumbing. Uh, pipes hearts. that don't groan much. Oh, heaven. Lavatories that <laughs> flush. <laughs> uh, fold down bunks and some careful shift scheduling. You can squeeze a few more in. We'll be snug, but keeps the cold at bay. That's plus four, and that's plus six. But they have different slots. That one's the wheel, and the other one is the lightning bolt. So you could do both in theory. Ah. Another canning system, a sneeze lurker. That's a gun. That's a mine. Oh, mines. <laughs> Pinch and pulley, plus eight hold. Okay. The Brito Mart. The Brito Mart. Mart. <laughs> more movement speed, but a lot more fuel consumption. To, or wait, Jeez. maybe fuel consumption is better, so it's like thirty percent more efficient. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think so. Yeah, we're probably not that lucky. All right. Uh, uh. Nothing early to get there. What other shops are there? Forever there is a judgment. Victoria Market. Oh, there's your fuel. There's and the fuel. That should be plenty. We can always come back if we need to. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. And the Wolvesy. Oh. oh, here's the new ships. 1500 for the first course, Able to mount a heavy weapon. She packs more oh. punch than other engines of her size. We can mount two light weapons. Yeah. Interesting. Pelinor class Trading trader. Vessel. It's ah, the that... same as ours, but with one more engine slot and it also twenty is... more capacity. Uh, it also looks like it's designed for mining because it can be found lumbering through rock fields, stuffing its hold with unrefined yeah. hours. Unrefined hours. I thought that was a typo, and I realized that no, we're playing a fucking fallen London <laughs> game. They're actually talking about time. The Bedivere class escort, which Bedivere. is interesting. It has a lot more uh, health. Yeah. It's twice the health that our current one has. Yeah. The I don't know what this is. What is that fuel consumption, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Moloch class liner, an infernal Moloch. beast of brass and steam. Brass. <laughs> We're uh, furnished with indulgent luxury, with carpet thick enough to lose your toes in. <laughs> Nineteen thousand. That's a yeah, bit of a jump. That's the biggest one here, but yeah. it's also got plenty of everything, except light guns. Yeah. But three wheels slots. It is fuel consumption. Because okay. the higher it is, the worse it is. So Yeah, none of these have better... Or wait, all of these have... Or I don't know if worse. that's... Because, probably because they have more mass. Yeah, but why... It, that's less... 0.14 less than ours. Yeah, but ours. If, if you go down... The 0.3... Uh, yeah, that one's point zero point one four. No, it's so, 0 0.4. 0 0.4, sorry. Out. 
Yeah. So I think it's engine efficiency. What do we see our boat profile. I think no, it was this one. Hold. Yeah. Fuel efficiency economical. The more you carry, the faster your engine consume, consumes fuel. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. So higher so, numbers are better yeah. or worse. But it's based on the amount you carry. So those start off lower, but they can carry more. So they'll get to be gotcha. more. You know, they'll get to be less efficient. Okay. In that case, the, the Moloch is the most efficient starting off. Apparently. It's also Which the most expensive sense. by far. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess we, we need to hit the skies. So we need to go ship south. out. Whoa. Oh yeah, we were. Where are we going first? We That's can't go every south. Oh, we so can somewhere go somewhere yeah. around. I was yeah. reading that map entirely wrong. This, Jesus. this ish way. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Something ghastly. Yeah, something need... grave. Something that glisters. Something to crave. I don't like those Ooh. that map legend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh dear. It's like a fucked up wedding thing. Also, the model is actually 3D. I don't know if you can see it just because of the oh. internet lag, but. Yes, whoa, I can whoa. see it. Don't just. Fire. That looks like a building. Maybe up and around. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. It's fine. Oh, it's not fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Dave. No. Look, she looks like a bistro, but she handles like a diner. Oh no. Oh, oh, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're okay. Is there anywhere to. Doesn't look like it. To land? No. Okay. You, this is like driving an actual boat. You have to actually, like. Oh, start lighthouse. turning early. Is that? I don't know. I can't see if it's Young's an enemy. Fund. Well, let's see what he does. It's a tackety scout. Nope, just a scout. Yep. Who's he? You want to talk? I think it's just trying to pass around oh, you. Oh, motherfucker! Fucking rude! That did not do damage. Okay. Jesus Christ, he looks like he has some fuel problems, too. Yeah. The fact that there's so much beneath us is kind of freaking me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Why are you I... going straight into the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Because quite frankly, guard, I the game is freezing. Hold on, there we go. Oh, all right, map. Oh. Can you bring up the map? I think we're going too far to the east. Uh, so we need to go south southeast to find the place that we're looking for, and south southwest to find the place that we need to deliver it to. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, buddy? The UCE elusive. Eltsroth. Her name Eltsroth. for you. Eltsroth. Alright. Down one supply. To the left. We can't go to the left. There's Should a big rock in the, the way. Should use the scanner. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, was that Z? No. F. F. Okay, it doesn't use all your supplies, it just uses up a some little bit. supplies. It has found something. Not, what has oh, it found? Something. A little something something. Something ah, way over there. A station. Alright, let's go there. God, this game is beautiful. A distant nebula shines in this place. It is light as mellow and light as mellow as melted it's light as mellow as melted butter. I can words. Melted Butter. Ruins claw the sky, the work of giants. Nowhere in. Okay. 
There it is. Says poor Avon, the village green. A stopped clock. The fastidious inspector approaches you in the galley. Captain, good day. Oh, I noticed your ship's I clock has stopped. I still haven't. Oh, there we go. Uh, Captain, good day. I noticed your ship's clock has stopped. Perhaps you'd permit me to repair it. She has a little case of tools and a hopeful expression. You'd prefer things to be more right, th more, right more than twice a day. She gives you a grateful flicker of a smile and sets to work. Soon she has the back of the clock off and has spread tiny cogs across the galley table. Obscure horological tools gleam brassily among them. Everything has a place. I appreciate the opportunity to keep myself busy. Staring too long at the stars is harmful to the temperament. Okay. Do you need to I'm reconnect? Back. I'm back. Okay. I don't even know. That was like one second you were still talking and then you were gone. And then I was gone. Magic. But yes, attempting to fix the clock. Uh, round face, dark eyes, and short dark hair. She gives the impression of being perpetually busy. Wow. Uh, we can inquire about her work, discuss the reach, compliment her skills. Her hands are deft and sure. She polishes. She cleans. She reassembles. Good job. Thank you, she says, a small embarrassed silence. It's possible to tell the inspector is pleased. It's possible the inspector is pleased. It's rather hard to tell. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Good evening. I have completely forgotten where we're taking her. We're taking her to the... Wasn't it Port Avon? No. It was somewhere to the west. You well, made it without Avon. crashing. It's, it's, you, it's harder than you'd think. Behold, a ruin of giants. Gargantuan blocks jigsaw together, furred with moss and whispering with orchards. A bucolic village nestles amongst them. Smoke coils daintily from the chimneys. A leisurely game of cricket unfolds on the village green. A, ah. a ramshackle dock juts into the sky beside a farmyard scattered with rusty locomotive parts. Piping, plating, piping, a chugging motor with its innards exposed. This place seems too happy for some yeah. of guys. <laughs> yeah. What does bucolic mean? Bucolic is like um, lazily happy. Lazily content, huh. I believe. Uh-huh. Now you're making me look it up. Bucolic <laughs> definition. <laughs> Relating to the pleasant aspects of the countryside and country life. Ah. Uh. Okay. An oily-faced, black-haired girl waves your locomotive into position. Welcome to Port Avon, she calls as you disembark. A rich nod of sense greets you. Leaves and wood smoke enriched by an infrequent but pungent intrusion of goat. Port Avon goat. welcomes new visitors, but your novelty will wear off the more time you spend there. Ah. When you visit in the future, you may need to bring something to keep them friendly. Ah. Interesting. I see. Definitely write a port report. <laughs> yep. Always do that. Uh, we're we'll not see for if talk that's as of... important here. Yeah. Were it not for talk of smugglers and sky beasts, you could easily confuse this place for a village on the world you left behind. It's quite peaceful here, apart from some fuss over a newspaper delivery. Villagers frown and change the subject when you ask about it. <laughs> okay. Either the in indirect veteran at Victory <laughs> Hall or the prudent secretary at Company House. Both docks are near New Winchester. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't forget to go to shops. Oh, we didn't do whatever it takes to get gossip. I don't remember seeing an option, though. Yeah, we probably haven't seen anything yet. But if you go to shops and go to the bazaar... Oh, wait. There's multiple places. Ooh. Hide your advice. There we go. So we're in Port Avon, the village green... Uh, the Golden Nebula scintillates above Port Avon's apple trees, allotments, eel fishers, and steeple church. Here you may, if you choose, immerse yourself in the village's quaint rhythms. We could talk to the Auroral Sommelier, uh, which is a wine taster, or a wine connoisseur, I suppose. Uh, or we could go to the Village Green. Seeds. The heart of the village... Surrounded by orchards of real apple trees that were shipped through the avid horizon as seeds. An endowment of, of years from her renewed majesty grew them to swift maturity. 
Actions here will wear out your welcome. Yeah, we'll save it for now. Maybe we'll come back. Let's see. Someone has what grafted Simone. Someone has grafted brass wheels to the carcass of an old armoire and impaled its top with a jaunty demasked umbrella. Damasked umbrella. A man stands behind it, flesh and finery, the colors of the dawn, shepherding customers through their sampling of wines, sweet wines, sour wines, subtle wines, and sinful. Spirits of every vintage, save, of course, the Hesperi Hesperid Hesperidian Jesus. Cider. <laughs> he gives a small, sad <laughs> laugh. I know because I've looked. This is the only place with real apples, but even here, that cider eludes me. He beckons you with a gloved Ooh. hand. Ask him about the Hesperidian cider. Since London. That not for now. Okay. Well, I want to see everything. There's still two more places to go. True, true. We can always come back too. And, and there's nothing saying that we we're only going here one time. But yeah, that's fine. You're the no. captain, Captain. Botheridge's A Tour of Heaven describes Port Avon's single public house as a welcome respite, justly famed for its authentic old earth cider. The locals can be welcoming for a while. You may be able to recruit more crew here, but we don't need to. No. Port Avon's first public house stands amidst a nodding copse of apple trees. Inside, brass gleams cozily on the beams. Window latches, doorknobs, and other fittings retrieved from the first locomotives that carried people here. A great polished wheel hangs on one wall. Actions here will wear out your welcome. Appreciate uh. the amount of cider. 42% <laughs> chance. Careful Care now. Careful now, a local warns you placidly. Oh, I think you can level up, by the way. See that? Your icon in the lower right? Lower right? Oh. Yes. You have a character, character point. points. Intercede in a mushroomy matter. The pub is out of scrumpy. Pub is out of scrumpy. <laughs> this game is perfect for you, I swear to God. Barman blames a creature, yes. a cross between a mushroom and a jellyfish. It, sit, it sways in its seat at the bar. You are Blemigan. Not... It's the Blemigans. Yay. It sways in its seat at the jar. Uh, looks like we are not <sighs> able to head upstairs because we are not part of. Oh, no new summer. No, we can go world. up. It, just, it probably won't end well. Pop the pub. Speak to a short-eyed cryptozoologist. She short-sighted cryptozoologist. Must have, uh, I Must could have, have taken the wrong yeah, connection. At New Winchester. Hmm, maybe we can help her out. Perches on a stool in the corner. Eh. That's interesting yeah. enough for me. A tiny figure weighed down by two backpacks and a heavy duffel coat looks through thick glasses at her map and then up at you. Excuse me, I need passage. I don't suppose you can help me? I'm on the trail of unusual beasts. I can pay you for your time. Aha, unusual beasts. Where does she need to Say go? Say no more. Hybris, beams the short-sighted cryptozoologist. She leans in conspiratorially, knocking over every glass on the table. They say there's a colony of singing remigants there. You know, the little <laughs> mushrooms with teeth? I'm a huge fan of their poetry. I'd love to hear what they sing about. So... <laughs> the cryptozoologist Literal, almost short, started something Literally short-sighted. Oh, God. A kindly stoker <laughs> guided her the right way and onto yours. So we nice. need to find Hybris. All right. Yes. And the Cyclopean, Cyclopean ruins. What palace was this? What giant king made his home here? And why did he abandon the vast stores of souls that the locals still quarry from beneath the stones? Perhaps you might risk a furtive excavation of your own. Not one of the looming stones is quite <laughs> square, yet they all slot together immaculately. Uh, really. What were these ruins before their fall? Even their bones are tall and stately as the finest cathedrals of old France. What purpose did they serve in the past, plentiful days when their sun still shone? Uh, ah, souls. The locals would not approve when we only had a 17% not. chance of a success. Or we might get a vision of the heavens. 40%. All is well. All is well. That's creepy. <laughs> you want to do that? Oh, I kind of want to do that 40%. Go for it. Roll that dice. <sighs> Failed. Ah. Uh, a milky mist billows across the sky. 
the, sta- the stones pour cold shadows over you. They loom like stooping giants who are so tiny, so fleeting, so easily squashed. You hurry from their choking immensity, seeking the smaller, familiar shapes of cottages, of trees, of locals leaning on their painted gates. You are wearing out your welcome. Oof. So, before we wear out our welcome entirely... How much welcome do we have left? Can uh, we check? Oh, it should be in here. Yeah, under profile... uh, Possessions? Yeah, they... No, that's port reports. No, that's port reports. So, check profile, then. Scroll down. Ah, yes. No, maybe not. Okay. Um, The journal... Well, we still have it. Yeah. I think we started with three, and we've used two. Yeah. Alright, but for now... The, shops. The shops. So, sacks of verdant seeds are 25 each, and they're selling for 80. So let's get three of those. Because that's how many we need. Yes. New bargains available in 30 days. Okay. What does Sharma and Sons have? Fuel, supplies, and a jumble of undistinguished souls. Not creepy at all. The bottles are as ordinary <laughs> as the soils that coil, coil in, souls that coil inside <laughs> them. Those are 70 each. So it might be worth... Okay. Do I need to get, like, pen and paper? <laughs> For what reason? To keep track of, like, how much stuff is worth and where we can find it. Eh, it, it might change. It's true. If we see, if we start seeing a lot of it, then. Okay. Perhaps. All right, where are we going now? Well, we got one more. One more. Schmargus, so perhaps we can talk to the. We could ask him about the Hesperi- uh, Hesperidian Wine guy. Yes. Come, the Hesperidian or come, cider. Come close. Come closer. Come closer. closer. Come close and listen, you effervescent thing. I have a story. An associate of mine. He once gave me a sip of it. One golden drop to place under my tongue. And my life was changed. A carnivorous pleasure steeps into his voice as he speaks. I went back to the store immediately, of course, but the price was too much. And then eventually the dreams drained away, and now I'm here serving wine to drunks. His laughter is black and bitter, but the Aurora Sommelier gives you the address. Nonetheless, just in case, if you decide to risk the Uh same grief, savor it for me. From an unusual shop in London. So another thing. In London. Huzzah. Why can't anybody tell us where London fucking is? I know. Okay, maybe do we still have... Yeah, I guess we do. A welcome. I think I don't think the. Uh, I the don't sommelier think talking to the lady. At, no, not the sommelier. I don't think talking to recruiting the uh, short-sighted. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. lady actually decreased it. And the they like some actions here. Yeah, the short-sighted cryptozoologist. Well, we have no terror, so. I don't think that will help. Either of these would help us? No. Perhaps not. Shall we go try for a second round at the... Sure. Vision of the heavens? Cool. Do it. Failed. Ah! Another tale of terror. Yes. So tiny. So fleeting. Those were good in... I don't think we used any of them. Was there anything at the docks that we could do? Has only this used them? Yes. In that case, give me that vision of the heavens, you bunches. Hey! Third time's the turn. The House of Giant. How vast were the beings that resided here? Were they kings? Was this their palace? You sit in the monumental shadow of a stone and watch the stars wheel above. What must they think, those stars, to see such grand ruins become the abode of such tiny, brief things? You are now no longer we have welcome. A vision of the heavens. You are no longer welcome, okay, yes. poor Davon. So we've got two tales of terror and a vision be able of the heavens. To become so again. 
are watching the ruins. Uh, truncheons in hand. Ooh. Let's not get punched. McDonald boys. What did the village screen say? The stairs of the locals have grown <laughs> sullen. They won't even give you the time of day anymore. Apparently, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> the inn. Conversation stills. The client hell stares at you balefully. Last orders just closed, the barman grunts. Wow. Okay. Right, back to the dark. Ooh, a repentant devil. A repentant devil. He's no. looking. You don't want to recruit the repentant devil? We'll have nothing to do with repentance on this voyage. Devil's cool. Repentance, nah. Uh, oh, here you can need... restore it. Gotcha. So yeah, you need a tea party or hmm. preserved like a fly in amber. Or a salon stew or a gossip. gossip. Alright. Nice. Well then, that is everything here. Do you want to spend your character uh -huh. point first? Oh yeah. Uh, there we go. Choose a facet, grow stronger. Scarred, a spell in prison, an interlude in red and gold, a scandal. A scandal. You were the gossip of London's salons and the target of blistering editorials in the Gazette. Mad, they said. Bad, they said. Dangerous to know. What was the incident that exposed you to the buffeting winds of public opinion? So we can increase hearts and veils by three, or hearts and mirrors by three. Mm -hmm. Or... Oh, there, it shows the side things Oh, as gotcha, well. gotcha. So iron, veils, mirrors, hearts. Yeah. You want to keep going with iron? Okay. Yeah. You came close that day to death. It left its mark. What was it that nearly killed you? An attempt on your life or an engine accident? Really the... yeah. So hearts or mirrors? Trapped in boiling dreams. Boiling. So now we have Ooh, 20... I like this. Yeah. So now we have 20 hearts, 10 veils, 30 iron, and 10 mirrors. Yes. Interesting. Okay. It looks like there's 20 levels total. Interesting. All right. So we mm -hmm. need to go west. Yes. Whee! We have two things two things to the west. Alright. The the clock lady was going to the west and the Yeah these, these goodies are going to the west. Go to the oh, yeah. Fiscus Inspector. Uh west southwest of New West. West southwest. Country. Okay. Yes. So more to the west than the south. All right. Next time yeah. on character select, we're gonna do some stuff east northeast of New Winchester. So we have to go back to New yeah, Winchester. So that anyway. can be later. Yeah. So thank you very much yeah. for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it and bunch. Haha. -ha. We're on our way. It begins. Chugga 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 chugga